is this freaking normal? Uh, Toru's grilled tail? Like, what? Wh wh what? They don't actually eat Toru's tail, right? Like, uh, and then another one over here, and then, uh, uh what? I mean, it, it, okay, it, it kind of does look a little juicy, doesn't it? Hi, welcome back to another Alchemy Stars video. My name is Lace, and today we're going to be going through some of the event details that just got released for the Dragon Maids Break event. And honestly, like, reading through all of this actually got me really, really freaking hyped, so let's just freaking get into it. Alright, to start things off, this is going to be very much like our standard events where when we spend stamina, we're going to be getting, like, some bonus event item called the Dinner Plates. And then using the Dinner Plates, we will be able to go into the event prize draw, Toru's Kitchen, in which we will be able to get some of these items, as you can see over here. So just to be very, very clear, the event is going to start on the 13th of January and end on the 24th of January, which gives us 11 days to farm out these um, these dinner plates and roll them into this guy over here. And some of the items that we can earn are the four-star collab exclusive Aurorian Fafnir, as well as his Soul Amber, a dragon-made Aurorian selection box where we can choose either Lucora or Elma, which is fantastic news because Tour Dog have given us a way to guarantee Lucora or Elma. It's that's freaking hype to be honest. But aside from that, it's your pretty standard stuff. You've got the upgrade materials, legendary Aurorian breakthrough materials, like this uh, thing over here. I never know what to call it. But on top of that, we are also going to be getting um um uh Toru's grilled tail, I guess. If you guys do watch the anime, I do need a little bit of context as to why we're going to be eating Toru's grilled tail. All right, so moving through this one over here, we are also going to be getting the Aurorian trial stages. You guys already know what it is. There are going to be a couple of trial stages. We'll earn up to 200 Lumamba and that's all swell. Nothing much to be said there. Now this is the next really nice part. So essentially if we log in for the next eight days, we're actually able to get Fafnir through this event as well. So combining that with uh, this one over here, the limited time prize draw from Toru's Kitchen, I think that there is going to be a pretty good chance that we're going to be able to max out Fafnir via these two mechanics. Aside from that, the login bonuses are pretty standard. So we've got... um. For, for, for some reason, we have Toru's tail again, which I still don't really understand. You, got, you guys have got to let me know. And it looks like we are just going to be getting a whole bunch of the... Yeah, this is very, very standard for the login event. Coming down to number five, these are essentially our three different exclusive event contents, right? So we have two furniture pieces as well as our avatar. All right, so moving through, we are now going to part two, where number six, we are finally going to see what the banners look like for this collab. So it looks like we are going to be getting two separate banners, one for Toru and Lukoa, and another one for Kana as well as Elma. Now the mechanics of these banners are essentially the same as every other limited banners that we've been getting from from like the start of the game until now. However, we are also getting the guarantee mechanic that was introduced in the last patch for the Bethlehem update. So let me go through all of the most important information for these guys here. So this banner over here is called Good and Evil and the other one is called External Order. Whenever we roll on these two banners and if we hit a six star Aurorian, there is a 50% chance that it's going to be Toru on this one and Kana on the other one over here. On the other hand, if we hit a five star Aurorian on either banner, it's going to have a 25% chance of being Lukoa on this one and Elma on this one over here. Just keep in mind that whilst you can't get Toru on this banner or you can't get Lukoa on this banner and vice versa, we do have the pity and guarantee sharing mechanism as you can see over here. So that is described by this note over here. This collab exclusive recruitment's increased probability, so that is the pity and the guarantee mechanism, which is the, uh, if you don't get your banner, your target character. So if I don't get my Toru within the first two six stars, then the next one is definitely going to be Toru. So the increased probability and the guarantee mechanism are independent of other types of guarantee mechanisms and increased probabilities. So all this is really saying in this first sentence is it's not going to be affected by triple R banners or anything else that is running concurrently with this one here. However, this collab exclusive recruitments increased probability and guarantee mechanism are shared with the other banner. So these two share with each other. And so what that means if I like fail my six star on this one and then fail my six star again on this one, I could theoretically actually pick between Toru and Kana as my next uh, hit on pity. On top of that, if you hit the percentage pity, so like the 2% plus 2.5% uh, or 37.5%, which is most common in my case because that number is drilled into my head. If you hit that, you're actually able to use it on both banners. So they share that. It's essentially the same as the Bethlehem 
Bethlehem and the Novio banner, but like there are probably a lot of people who opted to not roll on those banners. All right, aside from that, there's not overly much to talk about for those two over there. And so number seven is just Novio is getting added into the permanent pool. Like, thank God, please spook me, Novio, you freaking mad chat. And then special event book phase four part two. So our battle pass is getting the update. All right, from here, let's move on to the last page. So this is going to contain a quite a fair bit of packs. And to be honest, like looking through all of this, I believe there's probably more packs here than there was for Christmas, which is, you know, it's exciting. It's a collab event. All right, so let's have a look at the different packs. Number one is the made special pack, which is your standard a dollar or a dollar fifty, depending on where you're from, or three hundred dollars, depending on where you're from. It's your Lou Member and your Star Flare and your Prism, which is limited to three times during the event period. As usual, this is probably like your best bang for buck. Uh, if anything, you should probably pick this one up if you're looking for more pulls. I typically pick these three up. Sometimes I don't. It just depends on how I'm feeling. But the fact of the matter is, if I spend, I'm going to be spending on something like this. All right, moving through, we have the made recruitment pack over here, which is 3,000 loom amber, so 10 rolls. This bad boy, I believe, is the 10 rolls for, I think it's 10 USD. For me in Australia, it's 16 USD. And then moving down once more, the 10 rolls plus another 10 rolls, pretty much, so 20 rolls. I actually don't know how much this is in USD. Maybe it's like 20 USD, but it's like 36 bucks to me. So it starts getting a little bit crazy for the non-US players at this point. And for you EU players, I think you guys have been getting a little bit stuffed in terms of the conversion rate. Like somehow the US dollar is worth more than the EU dollars or the euros or whatever. Like, oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Just know that Australia, Canada, New Zealand, like the rest of us are also getting screwed. So yeah. All right. But other than that, like these other ones here. So for example, made enhanced recruitment packs. So I'm not sure if this is like the first time we're seeing this, but depending on how much this one costs, it might be good. It might be bad. So Lumember 3000, Sublime 3000, Nintium 150k. Obviously these two, you can certainly farm before like actually having to purchase this one here. And of course, if you're looking to spend, then like your spend priority is definitely like this one's the highest value. And then I believe these two are probably like very, very similar value. But then it looks like they've added a new one over here, which is including some of these resource materials. However, if you guys have been here for a while, I've already told you guys how to like prepare for this. Going over to Clone Lansfield's database, having a look at how much Sublime and how much Nitium exactly that you need. And so if you are buying this one over here, you should not be buying it for these guys over here. You should be buying it for the Lumamba. All right, but with that being said, I think the next two are pretty straightforward. It is very similar to what we've had before. This is your yellow Ascension kit. So it is for Kana and then the red one for Toru. All right, and speaking of transactions, I do need to warn you guys who are playing on iPhone or iOS. And I don't know if this is true for like the US or places that are closer to the correct <laughs> correct exchange rate, but essentially you are probably paying more if you play on iPhone or iOS. So for example, I believe like my monthly pack or like some of my other packs are actually like a dollar or a dollar fifty more than if it had been on Android. So if it really comes down to it and you're thinking of making like several purchases where it might make a difference, I probably would encourage you to go ahead and like get the emulator and download Akami Stars on that and then make your purchases through that with like Google Play, stuff like that. But aside from that, that's pretty much brought us to almost the end of this update notice, except for this guy over here, bonuses for everyone. For our first collab ever, we have prepared a huge bonus for everyone. It is time to guess, my guys. More speculation time, more time to get things wrong. I, for one, think this one is pretty simple. I think that these kinds of bonuses, like these big celebrations, it's gonna be like 3K Lou member, something like that. They've like set this kind of expectation for whenever we say something is big, it's a big bonus, it's gonna be 3K Lou member. So that is my guess. And so that is where I'm gonna pass off the secret question to you guys. What do you think this huge bonus for everyone is going to be? Do you think it's just gonna be 3,000 Lou member or do you think it's gonna be a little bit spicier than that? Other than that, you guys need to tell me about this tail thing. Like I, I really don't freaking get it. Why are we eating Toru's tail? Like, come on, man. But otherwise, just let me know how you guys feel about this collab. Honestly, I'm pretty freaking hyped. I'm very keen to see the story they've got in for us and like all of the different units joining our roster. Oh my God, please come home, Toru, please. A hundred rolls, it's gotta be enough, right? And so if you guys would leave your thoughts down in the comments below, I would really appreciate that because it means you've watched up until the end of the video. So thank you guys so much. But otherwise, if you did like this video, then please give it a thumbs up. And if you did want to see more, then please consider subscribing. But as your boy Fafnir once said, all good things must come to an end. And so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.
Oh my freaking god. You thought it was over? I thought it was over, but it's not freaking over, guys. The freaking hype train continues. After I logged into Alchemy Stars, I just saw this. So over here in the game, it looks like they actually revealed to us what that big, huge bonus is going to be. And it's going to be a free tendril on the Toru banner, as well as a sleepy Kana exclusive avatar. However, it does not stop there. We're going to be getting a whole bunch of prism over these days, which means that we're going to be getting more of those tokens or rather those, uh, what is it, dinner plates that we can use in Toru's kitchen. But that is not the best part. Look at this. We are actually going to be getting another free 10 pulls from Kana, I guess, this time. And so therefore, as far as we know for now, we are going to be getting 20 free pulls from this event. Just from that huge bonus or this collaborative bonus over here, I'm not even counting all of the Lumamba that we'll be getting from the event and any of that. Like, oh my god, Tour Dog, you are so based. Tour Dog, please have my babies. Wow. That's all I can say. Wow. They just, they just freaking slammed a 20X on us. Like, oh my God. All right. All right. I don't know where I'm going to fit this in the video. It might be a bit janky, but you guys have had to see this. All right. I swear to God, this is goodbye for real. Bye-bye.